Hello everybody, ICP Slayer here, and welcome back to Deceased Craft. Now, today, we're of course going to be picking up right where we left off, with finding survival supplies and all that. And hopefully getting some guns and things. And oh, lag. And oh my god, oh dear god, no. Come on, big fucker. Get away from my car, please. Actually, no, I'd stay on my car. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, didn't get infected. I thought I was infected there for a second. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. I need something that hits faster and harder. Oh my god, so much help. Okay, all my weapons are kind of ineffective at this guy. This is horrifying. This is like legitimately terrifying, Jesus Christ. I don't like that this guy's called the Demolisher. Okay, this is actually more effective. I'm gonna fucking break this axe, I swear to god. I am totally abusing the fact that I'm under a tree. But dear god, this guy has over 100 health. There is no way I'm challenging him outside of this. 69, nice. I'm afraid to get hit by this guy. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do a ton of damage. I'm gonna go right back to the sword, Jesus Christ. This is, this is the best way to do it, okay. Die, you bastard. Jesus, fuck. Okay. Now that we've killed that annoying little fucker, I'm also gonna turn down the game audio for you guys, because Jesus Christ, that guy was loud. Alright, now you guys won't be getting as much of that fucking screech. Dear God, he dropped a lot of ammo. I'm just gonna chuck these in a trash can next time I see one. So I had to go get some cobblestone. So... I'm gonna try and get some cobblestone. Now, have I seen any normal stone extrusions, perhaps? There's no, like, normal cobblestone in this. Which is annoying. Very annoying. Um, yeah, maybe underneath this. There's some stone. I'm just gonna grab what we need for a goddamn furnace. And then I'm gonna use the quest book and see what else we need to get. We have like 13 cobblestone, that'll be enough. And we're gonna get a backpack as soon as we can. We're gonna conserve stamina as well, because all that thirst meter, I'm. I'm not sure when that drains, actually. It hasn't drained at all. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. It's very confusing how the drain system works in this. Okay, so where is. Where did I put the crafting table? Have I not put a crafting table in this house yet? I don't think I put a crafting table in this house yet, actually. I put, like, right here. Next to this little workstation. And there we go, we have a furnace. Now. One thing we can do... Is set it, like, right there. And there's a furnace here. Now I want into the car. Did I not have coal in here? I have torches. I actually have a lot of torches. Um, do I have coal up here? So let's just... Oh wait, I need... I'm dumb, I need to actually grab... The rotten flesh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Is I'm going to stick the rotten flesh in there. And then burn it. And that will give me leather. A spruce chest and a normal chest. Oh, I see. So when, when recipes... Oh, that's actually useful. <laughs> when recipes overlap, you can choose what the hell you want to make. That's kind of useful. By kind of useful, I mean very useful. <laughs> Alright, so while the sun goes down real quick, we're going to take a quick at this. Unavoidable infection. 
Uh, all zombies have the ability to infect their victims upon making contact with them during an attack. Take caution when approaching them. Avoid getting bit. Certain armor types can negate this effect. I think I have one of those. Because... Yeah, I have locational armor. I think one of these negates bite. Because I haven't been... I've been hit, but I haven't been bitten, apparently. Alright, we're going to wait for night time to actually fall, I guess. So that we can actually go to sleep real quick. And there we have, like, ten leather. We can make a backpack when the daylight rises again. And there we go. And we're fully healed as well. So I believe it's... K accesses this, and I have a skill point. Higher melee damage, hell yeah. Do I have a skill point here? How about here? No. Athlete, nothing. No skill points. Alright, well, my melee damage just got up by plus 5%, so that's nice. Alright, so I need... Okay, so it should be this, and then a boom. And we have a backpack. So now this will go on my back slot, and I push B, and boom. I have storage. Okay, now that I have all this storage, we're going to take another one of the... No, look at this. I need to make a golden apple. The only cure for the infection is a golden apple. Make sure to keep a healthy stockpile as you never know when you'll need them. You can find these apples rarely in hospitals or by killing bosses. Alternatively, you can also craft them assuming you have the ingredients and technology. Yeah, the golden apple recipe. I looked at it earlier. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Read me. Hello, world. Um... Uh... The chapters in this quest book... Oh, this was the first thing I was supposed to read. I've just been kind of reading them as, like, the zombie section and then the other section. No, apparently this is the first thing I'm supposed to read. <laughs> God. Uh, the chapters in this quest book are completely optional and not needed for progression. However, there are useful info about how to progress with this mod pack contained within. So take some time and familiarize yourself with the contents. Okay, that's done. Also, there's, like... 40 fucking sections, so... It's kind of insane. Also, apparently I've got that. Best of both worlds, hearths either cool or heat a room to livable temperatures depending on the outside condition. The condition of the benefits both boiling and icebox. Okay. I have a few different things. Alright, we're gonna go back to guides and tips real quick. Oh, I'm gonna get a helmet? Nice. Uh, the head is the most crucial body part. Uh, it runs out of health. You'll die immediately, protected at all costs. Damage to chest and limbs rarely results in various debuffs if they are severely injured. Uh, wearing a helmet is significant, can significantly increase your chances of survival, especially since enemies often target the head. Uh, you can access the first menu with H. Here you'll find tutorial included. Talents and specializations. Pressing K grants you access to a personalized skill tree. Yeah, this is just the leveling system. Give me the boots. Uh, what is this? Better food, better health. Uh, the more types of food you consume, the higher your maximum HP. This guidebook serves to tracker for food. You haven't eaten. Uh, be careful, however, the maximum HP bonus is lost upon death. It is recommended you try to focus on increasing your max HP only once you've confirmed, once you're confident you can survive. I see. So new food types will give me more HP. So that's why I have like 21 HP right now. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat a chocolate... That didn't give me a bonus, but I'm pretty sure that did affect this. Which is the dietary thing. Currently, plus one max health, plus one attack damage, plus one armor, plus one armor toughness. Oh, I see. That might have something to do with how I'm, you know, not dying. <laughs> also, put the boots on. Those are actually useful. Because now I actually have a full suit of armor. Flying for dummies. With the simple plane mod allows you to build different types of aircraft, 
consult the guidebook for more information. I see. Veteran engineer and immersive engineering is crucial to creating a. Oh. Okay, we have, these are just the guidebooks. This is Encyclopedia. This is Alex the Mobs. Parkool. And Paladin's Furniture. Oh, it's a furniture mod. <laughs> Apparently I got Ikea 101. <laughs> that is an interesting name for a book. Uh, the Nether and End do not exist in this mod pack. Oh! Uh, you will have to seek their resources out elsewhere in this world. I'm sorry, there's what now? I got a bacon sandwich. Oh, I see. It's got a percent chance of giving me a golden apple. God damn it, I wish it would have gotten me a golden apple. Uh, burning passion. Many nether materials could be found in volcanic biomes. Use the nature's compass to seek it out. Alright. God, there are so many rewards. As the infection claimed this world... Their inhabitants left behind their great cities. Cities pose a significant challenge uh, and unprepared to the unprepared as they contain not only greater amounts of zombies, but also stronger and faster variants of zombies. Those who dare to challenge these ruins nonetheless stand to acquire great riches and abandoned technologies. Alright, alright. Wasteland... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do those later. I feel like I've just been sitting here reading this book and getting rewards for too long. <laughs> I need to go loot. Well, it's still daylight. That's a problem. Please drop the axe. Please drop the axe. Please drop the axe. Back away, back away, back away. I would have liked you to, you to have dropped the axe, but I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Alright, good thing I marked what fucking doors I would have been through. Kill you real quick. I guess I've already marked exactly what buildings I've already looted. So I know I've looted all these. I just need to go through, like, this one. I can see the spawner as well. Also, I've realized I've wasted most of the day open just reading that book. I think it's full. Food. I hear a villager. I also know that there's, like, a mod that lets me pick up villagers in this. Ooh, a baklav. I don't know how good of armor that is, actually. No, that's that, that as good as the bike helmet. <laughs> good locational armor. But also just not as good as the bike helmet. Hold on. I'm pretty sure... If I go through here... And shift-click... No? But how do I pick them up? I know there's a way to pick them up. Hey, loser. Die. Hello, crawler. We're going for my head. Okay, now I've started to drain my fucking thirst bar a bit. Also, I got no infection off of that, damn. I got hit like three times and I still didn't get infected. <laughs> I guess I just got some decent armor. I got lucky with the rolls. Yeah, I guess these are kind of decent armor, aren't they? Yeah, it does like 22 locational protection. Damn, I actually got some really good armor. <laughs> I got lucky with that, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm feeling protected. I'm feeling protected. How's my health doing? My health is doing completely fine, actually. This armor is great. Can I rest now? There are monsters nearby. What is... Who's near my house? Who needs to die? Come here, loser. I'll put you down. Die. My house. Not yours. Sleep. We now sleep. There we go. Okay, now, also, what do I need to upgrade? 
the backpack? Like, what do I need to upgrade to gold? Where are the variants? I want to upgrade to iron first, don't I? Yeah, normal backpack, and then we have the iron backpack. Need like eight iron. Do I have eight iron? I have four iron. I need to get more iron. Okay, noted. Hopefully the big fucker isn't back. I'm just gonna conserve stamina. Die, you running bastard. Okay, we have an entire city to explore, but I'm kind of scared to go into it. So for now... I'm gonna focus on the buildings I haven't gone through here. Die, you crawling bitch. I hear something that I don't like. What is that sound? Is that just you guys? I think it's just you guys. I'm not infected. My arm got hit. Is there a spawner in here somewhere? Not seeing it. Maybe it's upstairs. Oh yeah, there's the spawner. It's actually in a dark place, so it's actually spawning shit. Okay, there's a motorcycle helmet that does the exact same. Protection. Dime a dozen. Nice achievement. Ooh, these are mechanical crafters and shit. These are actually useful. Hold on. Give me all of this. Everything here is mine now. These are actually things that I know about. To some extent. Knowing about them meaning I have messed with them in some way. Also, these are blast furnaces. Give me food and water. I need to actually shove shit into my backpack now. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to save these iron bars for if, like, a horde knight comes. And I'm just going to block off my front yard so that nothing can get in. And then I'll be golden. I'm also thinking of, like, expanding into the other houses and just using those for, uh, for expansions to the base. I feel like that would be a beneficial idea. Just make a giant, like, mega base here in town. Yeah, I feel like this is a good little area for now. There's still that freaking bee up there. Actually, I don't know. I'm gonna move this mailbox. Close out by one. Because, again, I'm going to use these bars to block that up. If like, a horde knight comes or something. If I get the notification that, like, a blood moon is rising or some shit. Because <laughs> that is my fear that there's, like, blood moons. Because blood moons would be horrifying. <laughs> I could not imagine if a blood moon hit. I would, I would be dead. I would be very much screwed. Because blood moons, with this type of zombies, tend to just be death traps. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna shove those in there, shove the eggs in there. Oh, shove, the, shove the orange juice and shit in there. It's also apparently significantly warmer in here. According to the thing. I'm gonna need more storage already. God. You know what, I actually have an idea for storage. I saw something over here that I want to steal. Yeah, these oak cabinets. I feel like that's going to be good for, like, food storage and stuff. We can spruce up our kitchen a bit as well. So if we, like, do this. We have cabinets. So now we can put, like, cabinet food in there. Just canned foods. I'm going to try and keep everything where you'd expect to find it. Because I feel like that's going to make my job easier when it comes to looking for things. <laughs> Because I know I'm going. If I try to like make a proper sorting system, I'm gonna forget it. I can guarantee you. So instead, I'm just gonna put things where I would imagine things would be in an actual house, and treat it that way. Still love that I have a little couch here. I can just actually chill and toilets and shit. I 
I just have my little house. Also, this trash can can have that. No, 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 don't filter. I should make it so that it does filter some stuff. I should probably do that, actually. That would be a smart idea. But I'll do that later. For now, I have houses to burglarize. Because the apocalypse. And I'm the only one here. Hello? I'm burglarizing. There it is. I was wondering where the hell that spawner was. Alright. We got some food. Uh, another hearth. I already have one. Mmm, you know, I'll steal the stone cutter. I guess I decide to build a stone later. I'm also stealing this light. A makeshift spear? Okay. And apparently if I hold shift on an item, it actually, like, compares it to what I have equipped right now. That's interesting. Is there something in here? No. Do I have a trash can in my house? I don't think so. What, what breaks this efficiently? I don't know what breaks that efficiently. I'll come back for one of those later. The day is five. Uh, you played 33 in-game days. Next horde wave in 12 days. Oh shit, I didn't realize there's a thing counting the horde days. Oh no. <laughs> I need to find guns. Hopefully soon. Otherwise, I may be in trouble. Um, I mean, I found a lot of ways to spruce up my house. I will sell that. I'll put it here. Replace that. And there we go. We have a little lamp. Also, I just realized this has no light in here. Now it does. There we go. I'm just filling in the dark areas, because I know if, like, a horde thing happens, things could spawn in here. And I don't want that. That is a not a good idea. Probably I should do the same for, like, up here. Oh, you zombastard. You fuckers drawn to light. Is that a thing I have to worry about, too? I have to worry about not lighting up my base too much. Otherwise, I'll have these guys fucking swarming it. I'll figure that out at a later date. For now, I'm gonna go to sleep, and I'm probably gonna end this episode here. So if everyone has enjoyed, if you just joined the ranks of the CP Foundation, don't forget to shoot, like, shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain this. I'm sorry, but... I am for... Sorry, I am... My tongue got tied doing my outro there. <laughs> Let me start that out. I hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you, if you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next video, live stream, or do next. Peace, guys.